On May 15, 2018, Shark released a video exposing how a group called Animal Equality severely exaggerates and misleads donors to what it does, and we raised questions about the massive amount of money it sends to foreign countries. Please watch our original video for all the details and evidence we provided. The issues we brought forth were truly serious, as they go to potential fraud and misconduct committed by animal equality. Yet no one from the group has replied to our emails or made any denial to us about our claims. If someone had made such claims about Shark, you can bet we'd respond forcefully and challenge our accusers. Yet animal equality is instead hoping that donors and the public ignore the facts and keep pouring money into their coffers. The same is true about animal equality's biggest supporter, Animal Charity Evaluators. Shark has exposed this group as being a phony evaluation organization in the past, and that instead of scientifically and objectively rating groups, they instead push money to groups with which it has connections and conflicts of interest. After we released our video on animal equality, we sent the following email to John Bachman and Gina Stussi of Animal Charity Evaluators. We sent Animal Equality a list of questions that they have refused to answer, as this goes directly to the potential misuse of donor money and your organization has pushed that money to Animal Equality. You have a responsibility to get answers to these important questions. Please let us know what you intend to do. Neither Bachman nor Stussy responded. Instead of taking responsibility for their actions, Animal Equality and Animal Charity Evaluators are simply ignoring the criticism and they are hoping that no one is paying attention. Shark's first video about Animal Charity Evaluators exposed how it had a very close relationship with an activist named Nick Cooney and that it pushed money to groups either founded by Mr. Cooney or at least one group he profited from. A link to that video is in the description section. In February of 2018, and in the wave of the Me Too movement, accusations of bullying and sexual harassment against Mr. Cooney were revealed not only in the media, but by his alleged victims. In a Facebook post by Nathan Runkel, the founder of Mercy for Animals, he apologized to women victimized by Cooney and wrote, quote, It was because of the mounting complaints from numerous staff that last year I forced Nick to resign from the organization. We will post links in the description section so you can read the accusations made against Mr. Cooney. Now this is important because animal charity evaluators tried to ride the Me Too movement by making it appear that it was against accused abusers. For instance, it rescinded its recommendation of the Humane Society of the United States Farm Animal Protection Campaign because of similar accusations against Wayne Pacelli and Paul Shapiro. Yet it has been silent when it comes to its friend and inspiration, Nick Cooney. We wrote to Bachman and Stussy and asked them that, considering their close ties to Cooney, had they or would they speak out against the accusations made against him? They never replied. Even more disturbing is that, in an article on nonprofitchronicles.com, Animal Charity Evaluators admits that it has information on gender bias and sexual harassment for some of the groups it has reviewed and promoted. Incredibly, Animal Charity Evaluators will not make that information public, putting potential victims at risk. This once again shows that Animal Charity Evaluators does not operate for the public good, but instead acts more like a fixer who keeps problems quiet for their client organizations. This video is coming out right before the 2018 Animal Rights National Conference that will be held in Los Angeles from June 28th through July 1st. Animal Quality is a sponsor of the conference and both it and Animal Charity Evaluators will be exhibitors. If you are going to the conference, please tell both groups that you saw Shark's videos. Ask them to explain why animal equality is sending 70% of the money it spends to foreign countries without any accountability to its donors, and why animal charity evaluators 
ignores disturbing facts about the groups it promotes and refuses to speak out about Nick Cooney. Give them Shark's phone number and tell them that we are prepared to debate them anytime and anywhere. Shark believes groups like Animal Equality and Animal Charity Evaluators represent a real danger to the animals because of their deception and potential unethical acts. This is why we continue to speak out on these important issues. Our animal friends desperately need groups that are truly dedicated to helping them, not profiteering off their suffering.